Seen it all through it. Don't stop, never stop, always on attack. Locked in the path, never getting off track. Good, yo, dunk life daily every single freaking day, except for yesterday, missed it for the first time, but we're still 11 episodes was the, the record, we're trying to break that now, episode 12 was good, but I did upload a dunk vlog, and I got another vlog coming up, I got a lot to edit, I had three dunk sessions in a row, pushed back, pushed up, uh, I went off, it was fun, peaking, think I'm going to jump my highest ever on Thursday. I'm going to a low rim before my vacation just to have some fun, put my goddamn elbow in the rim, but not just hanging with the ball with a dunk, get my teeth at the frigging nylon, bro. I'm going to fly. Feeling great. Body's feeling great. Talking about that energy, couldn't have had a better weekend, man. Met a new friend, my friend Justin and his boy Vin, but it's just when you meet somebody that just has matches your energy and there's another element to it, which is just he feels like he doubles my energy. Yes, I have a huge man crush on him. Shout out to Justin. You guys are definitely going to see him on the podcast soon and probably in my content as well. We just linked up um, recently. First time we got to meet, but we've been talking for a long time. He's really big to aesthetics. You've seen me on the Aesthetics Academy. We're going to be working together in that fashion somehow. I don't know. But the point is surround yourself with people that bring that energy and not just bring it that inspire you and push you and challenge you. And when you, it's like two fires and when they meet, they make a bigger fire. So if you can't find people that are like-minded like you, switch up your environment, keep working. There's people out there that want to max out their life and we're definitely some of them, those people. And it's fun. It's, it's great to finally have somebody in person that I get to go nuts with and just feel like I'm being not just fueled by them, where it's like match my energy. I'm like, okay, now I'm inspired to go work out. Now I want to work hard. It feels like I can learn as well, but also we learn by being together. It's just like two energy balls that when they get better, it's like two black holes, they make a bigger black hole. Yeah, we're right back to black holes. What's up? Dunk life daily, baby. I'm feeling great. It's Monday. Have an amazing Monday. Not an amazing, a amazing Monday. Amazing Monday. What's good? feeling amazing, <laughs> going to Columbia next weekend with my mama. Hi, mom. You're welcome. I told you I would shout you out again. Um, so I think this upcoming week, I'm just going to peak, jump a lot, feeling really good, go to a low room, get my freaking elbow in it with dunking. I feel like I'm going to jump my highest ever. Um, working on that mind-body connection, really trying to get in tune with every little muscle fiber and really observing my body throughout the day because I feel like everything's mental. Everything's in your mind. The better you can have a mind-body connection, the better you can train your body to do what you want, the better it'll work for you and everything like that. So I don't know what today's about. It's a mindful Monday, meaning share your mind with somebody that's meaningful. Why do I do so much alliteration on this podcast? I don't know what it is. I guess it's what I, why, what I hone in on. Anyway, it feels like an amazing, energized day. I'm excited to get the week started, planning for my vacation, but I'm also going to try to get a lot of content out there, keep my podcast going, probably just on my phone, might get ambitious with it and bring my backup mic and get that quality from overseas. It's not really overseas, is it? I mean, it's over some kind of ocean. I don't know about the geography. I don't know what's happening, but, but we're doing it. Either way, I'm going to be doing something, probably maybe just an audio thing. I don't know. I'm not, no promises, but I'm going to try to keep this daily. It's a great practice for me to push myself. I love creating it for you guys. The feedback I've been getting is so great. I feel like the more you guys do it, like I was saying, I'm sharing it with him in person with my man, but yes, my man, my man crush um, but when you guys comment, it fuels me, it gives me ideas, you help me out, it builds a community, everybody can see the questions, everybody can contribute, and it, together we grow, and it's just an amazing feeling building this podcast, and I really love it, so I really appreciate you all reaching out. Um, other than that, training-wise, the, the, mo the most recent thing I've learned is my weakness in my lower back. So I said I had the really bad hamstring pain, and I've been doing the RDLs, which causes the exact pain where it hurts, but I'm hinging at my hips and I'm just repping that out. So if you have a pain, I always say avoid pain, but sometimes you got to push through it, give it a try, go slow with it at first. But what I'm, what I wanted to tell you is that when I did my hip hinges and I just rep it out on the range that hurts a little bit, it's like a two or three pain, probably more like a five or six pain, but like I rep it out and then I feel that 
I feel it in my lower back. So like I'm saying, I'm, I'm trying to make that mind body connection. I sort of, as I'm doing the reps, it's not even like really straining my hamstring. It hurts. But as I do, like I did like 30 reps in the morning, my back was getting a pump. My lower back was getting tight and felt like it was getting a workout. Just like if you work your biceps or whatever it is. So it really pointed out that my lower back is pretty weak or at least inflexible. But I love finding that. I love finding a weakness so I can work on it. My lower back, my hips, my hamstrings, those are all connected in that hip region of the way your, your pelvis tilts and all that type of thing. So my hamstrings are crazy tight, was able to jump really well. I jumped three days in a row. That's why the content's a little slow. I missed yesterday's podcast, but I got the, dunk, the vlog up. I have another vlog coming up with Justin and Chi, which was just hype. You guys love the Chi podcast. I got Chi in a vlog. Let's go. It was super pumped, dude. That kid flies off the vert. I'm sure you saw it on his Instagram, jumps by Chi, check him out. And it was just unbelievable. So I got a lot of content coming. I got the vlog and the podcast and I'm staying consistent. I feel like I'm kind of honing in on my strengths and it feels good. I want you guys to take this Monday, start planning for the week, make the most out of it, find the energy that you need to do, see what you can do, question yourself, push yourself, but also Trust in yourself that you know what's right for you and really get clear with what your intentions are and just use this Monday as an amazing Monday. Maze it, like maze it like it's a maze and you're finding your way through it. Let's go. All right, last but not least, I'm getting my two segments done. I'm doing the Today in History and my Dunk Lifer. So we're starting with the Dunk Lifers and on the last energy of Chi podcast, Norwal Music goes Always extremely entertained by every piece of content you upload. Absolutely amazing job. That was heartfelt and really struck me. But there was a, and that I had to point out. So thank you so much. And also, people were just loving Chi. So shout out to my man Chi. If you saw, if you haven't seen that podcast, he is hype. He comes off as, um, low key, but if you see him in the dunks, he's a different person. He explains that on the podcast and it was actually really cool. Let me know in this, in this podcast, what you want to see next. If you have any questions about this, that's where you leave the comments. I get DMS, but you know the deal. And if you're watching this on YouTube, this is all on online on podcasts, subscribe there as well. Get these as soon as possible. So you can start your day with that freaking energy. And today in history, let's get to it. I found a funny, uh, some random facts. Ready for this? 1796 on July 22nd. Ready? Happy 2-2 day, baby. Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio was founded by General Moses Cleveland, named after him. 1933, Willie Post became the first person to fly solo around the world. Think about that. Flying solo. A plane barely gets off the ground and you're going to fly around the whole thing. Imagine seeing the world for the first, you're the first person to see the entire, that's nuts. Flying is crazy. John Dillinger was shot to death outside Chicago's Biograph Theater. I think he was known as the, what was it? The America's number one enemy, something like that. Uh, number 30, 1937, Franklin D. Roosevelt's court packing scheme was rejected. I don't know what the fuck that means. 1975, Congress restored Confederate General Robert E. Lee's citizenship. Thank God. <laughs> I don't know anything about history. 1990, Jed- Greg Lehman won his third tour de France. Damn, dude. First American to win the great French, French cycling race. French, French cycling race. I have too much energy. Let's go. 2003, Saddam Hussein's sons, Uday and Hussein, were killed in a firefight. Okay, good. 2013, Prince George of Cambridge is born. First child of Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, and Catherine. What the fuck is going on? Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. I just yelled way too loud for the morning, and we're doing it. And today, I'm just taking it easy. Wait, stay tuned for my latest vlog with Chi and Justin, and stay tuned for my biggest dunk session of all on Thursday. Let's take off, boy. Let's go. I don't know what the hell else to say. Just let me know what the fuck. Help me. Keep me on track. All right. See ya. One more thing. Toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro. Ended up making an anthem.